And welcome here to English Park. It's a nice uh, overcast day here. It's Craig Crawford here providing you the commentary between the game between Kashmir Technical, the home side, and the visitors, Miramar Rangers. First game of this much anticipated National League. After a bit of a false start last year, everyone here is looking forward to it. And um, there's a good sort of looking crowd coming in to enjoy the game in this club format and uh, talking to the coaches earlier they're both looking forward to this fixture so the last time they met it was a Chatham Cup final in 2021 well it was played this year in 2022 but it was a 4-2 victory between Kashmir Technical and Miramar Rangers on that day so I'm sure well the uh Opportunity for these two to see play each other again will be welcomed by both both supporters. Of course, uh, Miramar Rangers finishing second in the Central League had their last game against Wellington Olympic last week. And Cashmere Technical have uh, only had two games during September, and they're both in their local cup competition. But they'll be uh, been working hard behind the scenes. And we have our match officials here today. Luke Gardo will be refereeing, assisted by Jack Henderson and Ralph Clink. Caleb Downs is the fourth official. So the artificial pitch here at English Park. Not sure if it might be the only one in the competition. Not sure there, but uh, we've got a the Kashmir technical side. We have a late change in this side. Luckily, uh, we've got uh, unluckily for Tom Swartz won't be starting. Uh, Sam Lapsley will be coming into the starting lineup. Just a late change there for the home side. Got to watch out for Garvin Coughlin, who's the leading goal scorer in the Southern League. He's joined by Aidan Barbarian, who made a bit of a transfer there from Selwyn United. Sort of mid-season to come up and sort of strengthen the attacking lineup, and we've got some comments from the home coaches. Okay, here we are with uh, Dan Swartz. Uh, looking forward to this game. A big challenge moving from regional to national. How's it been? Yeah, it does. There's definitely a, a standard jump, so it's good to to get these boys out there and see where we really stand in the rankings. And of course, yeah, with this new club-based format, National League, you've been playing for playing all year in the Southern League, and uh, are you excited by this uh, new format and what it might bring to football in the country? Definitely, yeah. I think it's one for the purist. Um, it's good for the whole club to, to get behind us and, and sort of go from uh, cradle to grave and, and be a National League club, so it, it's brilliant to get behind. And, uh, yeah, well, we're obviously looking forward to it. Uh, so players to watch out there. We've got a few boys fizzing to be out there. Definitely, yeah. We've had a good week of training. Um, yeah, there's a lot of excited excited players that really want to test themselves, so it'll be a good good game, I hope. Looking forward to it. Thanks a lot. And the Miramar Rangers come uh, fluent today. I understand they're flying out afterwards as well, but um, there's a plenty of experience in this side. Captain by Sam Dewa. Been around the side for six years, provides a good steady lineup for... Miramar Rangers. Of course, uh, they've had a few changes throughout the year, but um, Jack De Groot is one of the young players, the goalkeeper. One to watch out there. He's been in that under 20 wider training group. Yeah, does a lot of yards and getting to trainings from Cavity College. Makes travel down there every week to be part of that training group. And um, I know Scott Hale's coaches are very excited by his future. It is um, Scott with a few comments on the game. Okay, here we are with uh, Scott Hales to uh, introduce the uh, Miramar Rangers team. Hey, we've got a big challenge moving from uh, the regional to national format. Looking forward to that. 
Yeah, like every every club in the country, uh, competing in the top level of their of their competition wants to be in the national league, and you know we've we've done well to get here. Um, we're really we're really proud of that. Um, uh, obviously, we we lifted the trophy of the South Central Series last year, um, but to be in the national league, and we've got 10, 11 weeks of of good quality football against the the country's best teams. Um, uh, we're really excited to be here. And so this new uh, National League format, uh, club format, everyone is excited by it in your, your neck of the woods? Yeah, absolutely. The, the club have got a you know, proud history of competing at the, the top level of football in New Zealand. Um, the, new, the new format has given Miramar Rangers the opportunity to, to be back in that fold. And like I said before, we're, you know, we're a club with a proud history. Um, there's, there's pressure on us. Um, purely because of the club's history and the fact that we, we did lift the South Central Series uh, last season. And uh, players are behind you warming up, they're all uh, fizzing for it. Any players that are really, really ready to go, people we should, we should watch? Uh, look, I think every team's got um, certain players in certain areas that um, you know opposition would be aware of. Uh, for us, um, being a united group and being a team that... Um, uh, stick together and, and do things the right way for our football club is the most important thing for us and, and we can, we've seen in the past with, with other clubs that have succeeded that it's the, it's the culture, it's the environment that, that stands out from the rest, not just the, the quality individuals. So uh, we've got a squad of quality, um, but more importantly we've got a squad of um, a tight group, which, is, which as a coach is what you need. Both sides now ready to go here at English Park. Referee Luke Gardner has got everything sorted. We'll see about a couple of interesting uh, omissions from today's game. One from Miramar, no Hamish Watson. Well, he's a goal scorer, but he's, he'll be picked up a card and got his fifth yellow last week, so he's serving a suspension. No Yayu uh, Taguchi for Cashman Technical. Well, he's over testing out Australian waters so um, he may be back apparently but um, he scored a couple of goals against Miramar Rangers in that last Chatham Cup fixture earlier this year and um, I'm sure Miramar will be pleased to see him absent from the technical lineup. Vickers with a bit of a loose pass here pounced on by Max Falkner. Miramar to consolidate a bit of position to get this game rolling. A good crowd turned up here to support Kashmir Technical. As Coach uh, Dan Swartz was saying earlier, he, um, the cradle to grave club system, there are plenty of players playing in the Kashmir Technical environment, and plenty of their players also contributing. In, the, in that coaching environment. Um, Garbin Coughlin and Luke Tung, uh, both coaching the National Youth League side, who uh, have a bye this weekend, but they're trying to get themselves into that National Youth uh, Contest. And a few other players in the Kashmir Technical have you know, run, doing some admin and social media. So it's great to see, and I know uh, there's a few of the Miramar guys also doing the same. Bit of a coming together there. With, uh, Sam Storer there hitting the turf. Luke Tung, he was uh, taking on the captain's duties. It's a last minute change there for Kashmir Technical. Uh, Tom Swartz, captain, out. And Sam Lapsley coming in. Um, an opportunity to get things started a bit quicker, but that throw needs to be taken from the right place. And Garvin Coughlin, as we mentioned earlier, be a player to watch, loves to get on the end of things and doesn't mind dropping back into the midfield and starting things either. So there he goes with a crossfield ball looking for Matheson, but... Falcon had got in the way of that one. Searching ball forward here, Declan Tyndall giving chase. Able to consolidate some position here. And he 
turn it into something. It, nice weaving run through. Balls fortunately come back to Coughlin who gets on the first strike. <laughs> Left foot outside the area. Comfortably dealt with there by young Jack DeGroote. Big sweeping ball forward, but a wee bit too much on it. Sam Richards will just guide that one back to his keeper, Danny Knight. He'll be coming up about 250 caps here for Cashmere Technical soon. I'd imagine he might get there this season. Nice crossfield ball, great touch from Luke Tung, who makes his way into the opposition half. Big crossfield ball looking for Barbara Ryan. But too much on that one. Matheson putting pressure on uh, De Groot and enough pressure to create an error there. Matheson goes all the way back to Vickers. We'll transition things through his keeper. Falcon on the ball. Just to get the ball through. Mason Smith, unable to handle it there. And Tyndall's going to have a wee bit of room to move again down the right-hand side. The defender doing well there to stop progress. Joshua Rogers in there and the centre back for Murma Rangers. He's come back from Sweden. To uh, Dora back to Knight. Knight, the pressure's high here from, from Miramar, and they've got themselves in a good position here. Top of the box. Didn't quite fall for Andy Bevan. Stora out there nice and strong. Uncompromising central defender. Tung. He's had to go back to Knight. Good high press in here from Miramar Rangers. Not making it easy for Kashmir Technical to progress balls into Sandura just going back setting things down through Rogerson there's a wee mistake here and Coughlin that a wee look up Sniffed an opportunity, but didn't quite get the whole piece of it there. And well, that's the kind of thing you got to look for, Garvin Coughlin, to turn nothing into something. Where's well, a nice ball through, but Stora there to stop that. Tyndall brings the ball down. Gets a bit of forward movement going. Weaves his way in, but dispossessed. It's Lapsley there getting in the way. And drawing a bit of contact, which referee Gardner pulled up. Knight through to Vickers, who's uh, dropped into that centre-back role. With Swartz moving out. Nice play from Barbara Ryan, but breaks down. Mason Smith. Richards closing down. Falconer. Bevan trying to move the ball through. Lapsley's on the ball now. Back to Tung. 
He goes back again and then creates some space. But Knights giving it back to Muramar. Falconer just possessed by Coughlin. Coughlin's going to take on the defence. Barbara Ryan's gone ahead. Weaving through Coughlin. Elusive being able to kick the ball through. Going back to Richards. Gets the ball out. Great ball through to Ballard. But she's dispossessed in here. Great opportunity there for Murmur that pounced on the loose ball, just about able to open up technical, but the pass was a bit wayward. Ballard into Stora. Stora out to Vickers. Vickers stepping onto the line. Out to Richards. Barbara Ryan gets the ball wide to Coughlin. Coughlin is dangerous out here. Taken on Liam Wood. Gets around him. And has drawn the first corner. Liam Wood there able to keep up with the advancing Coughlin. And just got enough on it to block that cross. Now without Swart Tom Swartz there, this uh, might change the Opportunities here for Matheson. Swings in a good ball. This is everybody. He's gone out the back. Thrash back in and off the uh, upright there. Not quite sure who struck that one, but what a strike it was. And the press is on. Try to. The Miramar doing well to nearly play it out. Well, that was quite some strike. Is it? The corner made its way right across the 18 yard line. And here we'll see it was number nine, Aiden Barber Ryan, who got a good piece of it. And unfortunately for him and Cashmere Technical, it got a good piece of the woodwork, rebounded out and across the goal. Aidan Barber Ryan had a bit of uh, football at Halls United, Selwyn United, before going down to uni, playing in Moscow. Went down into Dunedin for the university. And it's good to see him uh, given this opportunity. And the short free kick was attempted there by Kashmir Technical, but all it did was get Declan Tindall offside. Mason Smith, closed down by Ballard. Matheson does well to keep the position. Back to Wood. Wood's clipped it down the line. Mason Smith will look to get on it. But Richard's doing well there to stop that one. Falcon it here. Clever there from good awareness from Andrew Storer and Danny Knight working together. Vickers to Richards and will receive it. Vickers receive it back. Switches out to Tung. Tung got a bit of space in front of him, but he'll go back to Storer. Coughlin to Matheson. Skips inside by to Matheson. Matheson tries to release him. The great work in there. Great work in there from Andrew Bevan. They get a piece. Ultimately disrupt and get position back for his side. Solid passing going in here. The Coughlin. Been able to rob it, and here's a wee opportunity. Matheson's gone, and get, gone ahead. Barbara Ryan making his way in behind. 
Just overweighted from Coughlin. Oh, clear the play in there from Falconer as he was skipped the ball over the advancing defender, Sam Richards. on the left hand side Lapsley doing well there just to settle things down again for Kashmir Technical as Wilson Supanathanathong number two he's playing up front for Miramar today young New Zealand under 19 player we've seen him play this year out wide on the right but uh Playing up front today with Sam Mason Smith. Storer looking for options, doesn't see anything, so he's gone back. Tonight he'll chip out to try to find Tyndall, but Miramar not making it easy for Kashmir Technical to find their way forward. Kashmir Technical sitting nice and deep and allowing the back four of Miramar Rangers plenty of time and position and they've got trying to strangle the opportunity to go, to go forward by playing nice and deeply. Here's Sipanath Thong losing out there to Vickers. Richards sends it high. Coughlin doing well there to nod it on, but no one was forward of him. So Midgley goes back in. Searching ball forward. Richards under pressure here. Falkner doing well to get the position. Takes on Richards. Weaving around. Well, the cross isn't good enough. And Vickers is able to get the ball under control. Cheeky little back heel there to Richards. Good win in the air there from Josh Rogerson. Referee Gardner there, pretty sure of his explanation. And Vickers is giving Tyndall something to work with. Just a wee bit too much on it. My sides now looking pretty settled into the game. The longer ball being used. And George Akers there just drifting offside. Good to see him back out there playing. He's after a pretty uh, nasty broken leg recently in, uh, well, a few months ago now, and he's done well to get back and involved in the game. Personal trainer, so no doubt been working hard to recuperate himself. And it's Coughlin there flicking it on to Barbara Ryan in the 18 yard line. Back to Tyndall, drives it in. It's just only Lyle Matheson in there and plenty of white shirts. Let's come back out to Tongue. Tung's got it to Barbara Ryan, who weaves. Stora doing well there to dispossess. Falls into towards Matheson. So it's Falconer, who was able to come away with the position there. And he'll receive the ball. Nice little move there from Miramar Rangers. Ballard closing down. Falconer, whose pass isn't up to his usual standard. Danny Knight just taking his time. 
Looking for some movement up the field. Coughlin, bit of a question there. He might have been man over there by Josh Rogerson, but referee happy to allow play to move on. Back they go, Miramar Rangers. De Groot. Bring it out here to Rogerson. Well, there's a good opportunity, good movement. But these might have just picked out the wrong ball there. Josh Rogerson. And here comes Lapsley. Into Coughlin. Tyndall. Going on to Lapsley. The defence able to contain that movement from Kashmir Technical. Well, it's a big afternoon in uh, National League football today. There's an opportunity of Matheson. Got a good bit of it, but not quite under it and over it. And the group was able to take that easy. But yeah, this is the first game of the National League Championship. Napier City Rovers hosting the Wellington Phoenix at 2 o'clock and Wellington Olympic hosting Auckland City at 3 today. Tomorrow we've got Birkenhead United hosting Christchurch United and Auckland United hosting Melville United. So uh, great to see the National League back and uh, up and running. We've got plenty of games coming to you between now and Christmas. And here's an opportunity for Kashmir Technical. Defence is good there from Joshua Rogerson coming to the rescue. And of course the uh, Women's National League also underway. Three o'clock today we've got Auckland United hosting Western Springs. Tomorrow Central Football will host Northern Rovers. Pride here at English Park will host Eastern Suburbs. The group doing well there to contain that one. And Capital Football will host Southern United. All those last three games on Sunday. So 20 minutes into this fixture and we haven't seen a goal yet. We've seen the woodwork rattled by Kashmir Technical. Both sides doing well when they have position and showing a pretty solid looking defensive formations as well that aren't making it easy for either side Ballard to Barbara Ryan turn switches it out through Vickers back four with Kashmir Technical happy to just keep the ball and Vickers has got himself in a bit of a tangle there with Sam Mason-Smith not making it easy. Barbara Ryan back to Richards. Richards down the line, searching for Coughlin. Matheson there. Trying to create something here. Kashmir Technical. I've got a good on field position. Lapsley shot. Just a wee bit too much to do there. Good to see you. Sam Lapsley there. Okay, looking up, seeing the opportunity. Would have liked to strike it better, of course, but. The intent was there. Barbara Ryan nutmegs the referee. Goes forward. Puts it out wide here to Matheson. Matheson taking on. Here's the ball with Sam Richards. Top of the 18 yard line. A little one two with Coughlin. Coughlin just. Choosing to keep the ball. Matheson's made a run behind. 
Falls back through to the six yard box. Barbara Ryan was there, but the defense was there first. Coughlin vertically around. The ball's goal to group doing well to get some of it. Didn't handle it at all well, but that was a clever little run by Garbin Coughlin there on the left hand side of the 18 yard line. Real handful for this Miramar defence. Here come Miramar with a bit of an opportunity, it looks like. Supanath Fong has just drifted offside. Good high line from the Kashmir Technical Defence. That's the kind of position that where Scott, Coach Scott Hales would have preferred to have Hamas Watson av available. Tang. Piercing run through here. Oh, but the touch has just let him down. Oh, he's still back in the contest, and here comes Tyndall. Surging past one, drifting into the area. Mason Smith doing well there to get the ball under position for Miramar. Player of some good experience there. Does a bit of community coaching around the club. As well as being a builder. Been at the club for five or so years, I think. Falcon. Back to Wood. Wood will go back to the group. As Miramar try to consolidate some position. Malo Vanovic there in the jersey number six. It's coming from the UK into this Miramar lineup. Here comes Kashmir Technical through Richards. Richard out to Matheson. Matheson's going to whip one in into that dangerous area. Looking for Garvin Coughlin. A great bit of defending in there. Water ball in. Real handful of a ball put in there by Lyle Matheson. In between that, in that corridor of uncertainty, but Matheson now putting the ball in with his left foot, got it to Coffin, pivots. Doesn't quite get hold of it. Ballard doing well to get it back out to Matheson, who's gonna put it in that area again, and Stora! Well, Andrew Stora had gone up for the earlier corner. And when it isn't amongst it, it was Ballard who regained the position. Matheson with a whip ball in. And the big centre back, Andrew Stora, hanging out around the penalty spot. Gets his head into it and directs it. And all Jack DeGroote could do was watch it go into his top left hand corner. Well, he would have been paying a bit to score the first goal there, Andrew Storer. Good start there. 27 minutes into it, and we've got our first goal of the National League. Scored by number five, Andrew Storer. And the home side has the early advantage. Well... Oh, Matheson showing there with two awesome left foot crosses in a, as well as a corner there in quick succession. Each one of them providing a threat. And Murumo was successful at defending two of them while they're going to have to be at their best to try to Stop, they tick, and they were. 
strong enough to stop that opportunity. Looks like uh, Corey Vickers there. He doesn't look um, too healthy. He's quite willing to get rid of it. And it's a long ball forward to Matheson on the ball. Again, he drives into the area. Oh, he's drawn the attention, and there's a point to the spot. Well, Liam Wood is asking the question of the linesman. He's gone straight over to ask the question as a wry smile as he converses with the referee's assistant. But referee Luke Gardner was well positioned and was certain of his decision. As Matheson was set free, he was able to drive into the 18-yard box and draw Wood into a challenge. That saw him crash to the ground. Big Garvin Coughlin here. The golden boot for the Southern League. His last penalty in the English Cup was saved. But he's gone straight down the middle this time as Jack De Groot covered his right-hand side. And Coughlin as to his impressive goal-scoring tally. Cool as you like. Steps up straight down the middle. Well, as a couple of weeks ago, we saw Coughlin's first penalty saved in the English Cup final. He got to retake it, and he got the second one, but uh, he'd be very happy to not go through a retake. And we're at the 30-minute mark, and Kashmir Technical have a 2-0 advantage. Let's see what Miramar can respond with. It's been Lyle Matheson who's been there, really popped up in the last 10 minutes to create the opportunities for his side. A couple of great crosses and then a great run that drew the attention to of the defence. That led to that penalty and given away. The coaching team Dan Swartz and Dan Terrace at Kashmir Technical will be just sitting a wee bit more comfortably now. Talking to Dan Swartz during the week and he was a wee bit concerned about getting his boys up for this new format they've been playing together all year and they've been in the in the past they've been able to put canterbury united a few of them have been putting canterbury united jumpers on at this time of year but uh is looking to try to raise the intensity as this competition sharpens up in the national format and i think uh, they must have been able to do that during the last few weeks and it really changed the focus from the regional league they've been playing in, the Southern League, into this national format where they know they're going to be tested. And um, yeah, you probably think there's going to be no easy games for any teams. Well... Tung being able to gain a free kick there. Wilson Supanathong being pulled up. It's a long ball forward. Coughlin looking for it. Hunting away, putting pressure on the defence. And I'll get to restart from the throw here. Ballard turns the ball to tongue. And 
Whistle's gone. Looks like the linesman might have just picked up that the ball might have drifted out. And you can see Lyle Matheson take a corner. Be in swinging now with the left foot. Awkward one there for George Akers. Just bounced before him. With her. Matheson not getting the, the contact I'm sure he would have liked with that one. He gets another chance. That one's a floated right in onto Groot. And he had to deal with a lot of attention. And it was too much in the mind of referee Gardner. And Miramar will have the ball to try to create some opportunities. Sam Mason Smith picks it up, puts it out to Sir Fenafong. He sent chasing that one. Just a bit too heavy, that pass from Mason Smith. Do you uh, switch the play? Falconer hits it as a cross. Goes back to Wood. Nice play in here from Miramar Rangers, but just comes undone at the last pass. Tyndall out here on the right-hand side. Richards, close down, Ballard, gets the ball to Barbara Ryan, Coughlin, come deep to consolidate some position for a side. Nice little one-two, and that's passing the ball so well here, Kashmir Technical. Andy Bevan steps in the way and disrupts that one. There's a good amount of intent here from the team in yellow. Kashmir Technical, when they get the ball. They're able to advance the ball quite well each time. A lot of the times they get the ball. There's good intent each time. Murama haven't been able to find that just yet. These long balls just aren't kind of working at the moment for the Scott Hale side. Here's an opportunity. Looks like Sam D with here had him a ping from a wee way out, but it just faded across and Danny Knight was comfortable just to see that one go out for the goal kick. Comes Miramar Rangers through Falconer. Out to Sufanathon. Overlap. Good ball into Sam Mathis Smith. And Falconer's out here on the right. He'll go and whip it in. That's a dangerous ball. Here's an opportunity for George Akers. Well, it might have just bounced and hit an arm there. One of the better opportunity or chances created there. For Miramar Rangers in this half. Seem to be a few spare white jumpers in the in the 18 yard line, 18 yard box that uh, a huge jump here from Joshua Rogerson. Goes Barbara Ryan out to Tyndall. Uh, it's Matheson who's out there on the right-hand side now. Coughlin is keeping position. Out to Tung. 
Barbara Ryan. Back to Tung. Spun well there. Here come Miramar Rangers. Big sweeping ball across. It's going to find Falconer. Just can't get it under. As quick as he might have liked. Good square ball in and it's touched, just set up and invited Sam Mason-Smith to have a shot. Unable to get the power and accuracy needed. self-employed builder Danny Knight get us back underway we come up with five, about five minutes to go in this one of normal time and oh, just have a bit of a head knock here on Lapsley by the look of it might have just bit of a coming together there Both these sides finishing second place in the regional league. It was the central league that Miramar Rangers ended up five points adrift of Wellington Olympic and came down to the last game. And Kashmir Technical, who was a bit closer, also came down to the last game where Christchurch United were able to take the Southern League title via goal difference. Kashmir Technical with a one win and one loss. And Crossish United had the same, but it was goal difference that divided the two sides. And here come Kashmir Technical through Coughlin. Good advancing runs, and it's Tung who's got himself into a dangerous spot. Drifted ball in, Tyndall, optimistic jump there, sails well over him, and here comes Falconer. Just drop it back to Diwa. But the full momentum is just stopped as Kashmir Technical get plenty of bodies behind the ball. We would here with a bit of space. Just the ball into Safanathong. Gives it up to Tyndall. Richards just possessed. And Safanathong, who's been away with the under 19s who have successfully qualified for the next World Cup for New Zealand. Richard's only able to get it as far as Josh Rogerson. Novanovic there, trying to create something from the centre midfield position. an opportunity here in the 18 yard box for Miramar plenty of yellow shirts here to get rid of it but the pressure's not over Dewa dispossessed by Coughlin Coughlin with 3 on 1 and closed down and able to get Matheson he'll get it onto his left but Dewa got back well Good defensive shape there from Miramar Rangers to be able to squash that opportunity. Mason Smith. Restart things through Rogerson who's sweeping ball out. 
bit too hot to handle that one. And Captain Luke Tung will be more than happy with this half of football from his team. Luke Tung. It's been a while since he's been played football in Wellington, but he spent a bit of time with the Phoenix a number of years ago. Obviously played a lot of football for Canterbury United in the National League also. A man of plenty of experience. Good pressure in here from the defensive team, but searching ball forward here. Stora was able to deal with that. Might have been another offside flag raised there. Yeah, Wilson, Sipranathong, just drifting offside a few times here today. The well-organised back line of Kashmir Technical able to catch out the young striker. Clearing any pressure there. Barbarine back into Lapsley. Another sideline just creeping up there on Kashmir Technical. We're into some additional time here. This Miramar will. Keep position. And we'll try to figure our way through this Kashmir Technical defensive. The structure from Kashmir Technical has been good and they not being able to get the passes into this attacking zone. Miramar. Vickers, who's suggest might have been going to be starting in the centre midfield until Tom Swartz, this is a withdrawal from the side, has done well in there at centre back with Andrew Storer. It's quite rare to see a uh, Kashmir technical side without a Swartz on the pitch, actually. Here comes Falconer with an opportunity here to in the half on a high he whipped in well met by Vickers and cleared by Ballard that Falcon is able to get the position back and see if Miramar Rangers can break through ball comes to Liam Wood as the whistle for half time is blown by referee Gardner and it's the home side with a 2 0 advantage to take to the changing rooms. Both coaches have been thinking about what they can do to change this game. Well, one coach, Dan Swartz, will be more than happy. He'll be uh, looking to make sure this advantage is extended through the second half. And Scott Hales, the Miramar Rangers coach, needs to change something, get some goals back to get back into this game. Well, we've got some highlights to look at here, and it was Aidan Barbarian who thundered one in 
after a corner had drifted right across the 18 yard box but the woodwork saving Miramar Rangers there and here's where the goal came from another corner let Lyle Matheson was able to swing it in and find the centre back Andrew Storer who had advanced for a corner as Alex Ballard who was able to keep position for a side and what a header for a centre back what a day and it was Lyle Matheson who drew a penalty and it was Garvin Coughlin who added to his goal scoring tally for the year to give Cashmere Technical the 2-0 advantage here at half time we'll be back with us after the half time break Ford, we are always looking towards the future. So while we are proud of our range of vehicles, we are even prouder of being the first company to support not only the football ferns, but the next generation. And the legends we grew up wanting to be. We believe in supporting and nurturing our extended sporting whānau, working towards promoting a healthy group activity that kids, parents and friends love. We want everyone to feel invited. It is in our DNA. We are accessible to all. We are football in Aotearoa. We are the beautiful game and we are proud to be the largest sporting whānau in New Zealand. Women's World Cup is coming to the shores of Aotearoa, New Zealand in 2023. Uniting Aotearoa, it offers an unprecedented opportunity to make our game bigger, better and bolder for everyone, especially for girls and women. Its legacy starts now. Our leverage and legacy plan will supercharge football in Aotearoa, grounded in two principles. Mana Wahine, elevating the spirit and mana of Wahine. And Tūranga Waiwai, our place of belonging, our foundation, our home. Built on four po or pillars, the power of opportunities, Faka Mana. Partnerships, Mana Natahi. Pathways, Ada. And Tiaki, people and places. Committed to the people and the land of Aotearoa, New Zealand, this plan leads the way by breaking barriers, paves the way for future generations, grows and strengthens the game through meaningful relationships, and creates a game for all and a place of connection. With Aotearoa United, Legacy starts now.
Okay, we're back here at English Park. This seems to be a couple of changes. We'll try to pick up on those. Looks like we've got George Akers, number 10, making his way, has not come back out. And Tian Manuel coming off the bench there for Murmur Rangers. Just a single change to try to make influence the game for the visiting side. And it's Kashmir Technical with a 2 0 advantage, trying to protect that and even advance it through here. And Murma have got it all to work for here in the second half. It's a chilly old wind out there today. And um, the crowd, the Steve Sumner stand is uh, full here at English Park. There's an opportunity for Barbara Ryan to, well, he might have been caught between shooting and crossing there. And comfortably going for a goal kick. There's the pressure on for Matheson onto the group. Clears it. There's Barbara Ryan trying to get on the ball. And it's T.R. Manuel there in their shirt number three who's come on. And Manuel spending a bit of time in the US college system, but back to New Zealand he came to enjoy his football here. As I was saying, a bit chilly old wind out there for the spectators. The Steve Sumner stand is full of uh, warm jackets. And so we might have a corner. Yes, we do. Here comes the tall timber for Kashmir Technical. And Lyle Matheson's left foot will be brought back into the game. Well, it provided... A couple of game-changing crosses. We'll see if he can do it again. Hangs in the air, and Coughlin's got it towards goal, but it's cleared off. Volleyed back in by Barbara Ryan. As Coughlin tries to weave some magic along the touchline, but nothing coming from that one. De Groot. Short pass into Dewa. Comes out to Manuel. Manuel, he goes back to Rogerson. Mason Smith. He's knocking it back into Movanovic. And these are the areas where Murma have looked comfortable with the ball, but they just aren't being able to find anything going forward. And this is where it's broken down. Of Ballard just about connecting in there with Aidan Barbarine. Oh, well, Richard's missing out on it, intercepting that one. And Murma finding a bit of go forward. Defence of shape for Kashmir Technical has been pretty strong for the first half anyway, and they'll look to continue that in the second. Dewa is going square. Here's a bit of forward play from Murama. It's Sapanathong. Who couldn't find a way forward and they've come out round the back again, Miramar, to try to open up and stretch this Kashmir technical defence. That is well marshalled right from the back. Everybody behind the ball and providing no opportunities for Miramar to get on the front foot. Novanovic trying to find a way through, but 
Cashmere Technical have managed to get the ball back. Matheson, weaving run. Coughlin's got the ball. Slides forward, just drifts forward. There's an opportunity to have a strike. As Tyndall was waiting out wide patiently. Tung getting the board. That's the way to that pass. That Tyndall couldn't keep up with. Cashmere Technical definitely looking more dangerous when they get a bit of go forward. an opportunity and we're just a bit too much contact and do well we'll try to get it underway quickly but not in the right place according to referee Gardner give it a See there, just losing a boot in that challenge. Give him time to put it back on. Manual. Out to Falcon up. Back to Movanovic. Searching ball forward. Kept in. Work in there from Tyndall just to clear that one. Mason Smith coming off the line back just to provide change in angle as they try to unlock this Kashmir defensive shape. looking a bit disappointed with himself there locked under the pressure from Tung well, just in there it's going to win most of the things in the air there ex Phoenix player Ballard a little bit of go for it. Here comes the opportunity for Matheson. And a bit of space. Gets his head up. Whips one in. Cleared by Manuel from the six-yard line. Richards. A delayed decision there from the referee. Start the play. Well, coming out here to this left hand side. For Steve Sumner's hand side. It's a long ball. A threatening one. Vickers just getting a nice retouch on it to take the ball through to Danny Knight. Under pressure there from Barbara Ryan. Matheson been closed down. He's made it into the 18 yard box. Jinx one way, Jinx the next. And it's Lyle Matheson who has undone the Miramar defence again. And it's well deserved from the South African. Dances in on his right side this time, and the group 
near post is being exposed by Lyle Matheson. Garvin Coughlin recognised that Lyle Matheson had some space to move out on that left hand side. Tried on his left, jigged back onto his right and squeezed the ball inside to Groot's near post to give Kashmir Technical a 3 0 advantage. And it looks like Spencer Cameron's going to be brought on. Max Falconer has done his dash for the day. Well, what a start to the second half for Kashmir Technical. It's every time that uh, Kashmir Technical have got the ball, they've moved themselves into some attacking positions and it's paid off for them with Garvin Coughlin with the assist there to give his side a 3-0 advantage Garvin Coughlin with some Good pressure on the ball. Mason Smith got the ball under position now. Go square. Bevan switching the play. Bevan on the ball. Puts the ball into dangerous spaces there, but Kashmir Technical have managed to get rid of it. And it's a goal kick. And there's plenty of conversations that Luke Gardner's having to have, explain some decisions or just make sure that everybody understands how he's seeing the game. It's been well controlled so far. Lapsley with a win, not on. Barbara Ryan hunting away, got the ball to Ballard. Ballard's got the ball out to Matheson. Drives into the 18 yard line. And it's his left foot he pours this time. And a group was well positioned. Good hunger in there from Barbara Ryan. to get the ball and uh, every time Lyle Matheson gets it here he's on the ball again it spells danger time for Miramar Rangers comes Luke Tung clips the ball into Woods Coughlin but just a wee bit too much on it and out comes Liam Wood. Looking for opportunities to play, pass it forward, but nothing available. Often for a wee chip. Vickers changing the direction. And Stora will go long. Runs there from Tyndall. Pressure on De Groot having to deal with a bouncing ball. And tidy there from Miramar Rangers. Good pressure in from Declan Tyndall. Spins his week working at Ballantyne's. Bit of a part time model, I understand. He's been at this plan in Kashmir technical colours for uh, since a junior player. Uh, looks Kashmir high school student. Here comes Matheson's left foot. Right in onto Groot. <laughs> it's 
Done well there, De Groot. And Matheson as well. Richards. Back to Tang. Coughlin into Vickers. Vickers is shaping one up on his left foot. But the defence came around and blocked that one. And we'll have another corner. Well, that last corner from uh, Matheson. Was, looked to be hitting Goldwood and it's a group. And you just throw one hand up at it and batted it away. Certainly has been a set, set plays for Kashmir Technical. Have been threatening, and it's DeGroot who just takes it right off the head of Lapsley. just drawn into the foul there. Awesome. Novanovic clipping it forward. An opportunity in the 18 yard box for Miramar but just didn't fall for them. They haven't really been able to get a shot on with any uh, sort of threat to the Danny McNaught Danny Knight goal as yet Miramar. Manuel with the ball. Those are back in Dewa. Tindall. Unable to dispossess Miramar Rangers. Safana so Fong clips it in. Vickers is there to get rid of it. Barbara Ryan able to turn. Gets the ball to Coughlin. Weaves his way out. And Tyndall's able to set off down the left-hand side. Here come things are just starting to open up a bit here in this game. Dua, unable to get the ball to his teammates. And the ball's back into position with Kashmir Technical. And Garvin Coughlin, who's coughed it up. Mason Smith. Uh, to Safana Thong. Closely inspected by Tang. Back to Manuel. Opportunity to fill Malavanovic. Drives into the area. And a great toe in there from young Alex Ballard. The under, one of the under-20 players who was a big part of the Southern League series last year for Kashmir Technical. So a good amount of experience at this level. And just a wee break here and play for an injury. Don't quite see who we've got. It's Barbara Ryan who's down getting some attention. I must have just got a wee knock there. Looking over at the bench, considering what he's... Been going well in there, Barbara Ryan. Plenty of energy. Not sure if we're going to see a change or not, but um, we'll wait and see. As these conditions seem to be. Getting colder out there as the game progresses. And 
We have a restart from the goal kick. Yes, we are going to see a change. Becky and Donkers be coming into the game fresh from New Zealand under 19s tournament. And he'll no doubt sit high at the top of this Kishma technical lineup. Kian doing really well with his football at the moment. He's enjoying a rich vein of form. The Kashmir High School student. And he's, uh, here he goes with the ball. But it passes just a bit too, too much to get to Tyndall. Coughlin might have just dropped wee bit into where Barbara Ryan was playing. Tongue doing well to Mason Smith. Ivanovic with the switch of play. Overlapping runs for Miramar. Vickers is going to clear it. Donkers is going to fresh legs. Well, 66 minute mark. Half an hour just. Just over half, under half an hour to go. And the 3 0 advantage has got things looking pretty comfortable for the home side. And the visitors, Murmur Rangers. Got to get themselves back into this game as quickly as they can. Here's all the opportunity. And it goes. We flick, defensive flick on, and it was Mason Smith who had just couldn't catch up with it at the far post. Probably wasn't expecting it. It was a defensive flick on. And... Mason Smith, maybe you're just a bit surprised to see the ball get to him. Back to Knight, who will clear. Matheson winning it in the air and putting pressure on Manuel. Oh, and Donker's a wee bit of a sniff there. He's got a foot in. Matheson will consolidate the position, but no. Andy Bevan. Richards under pressure goes back to Vickers. Vickers can't get it beyond Dewa. Bevan sends Midgley down the right hand side. Mason Smith able to turn. But the yellow. Wall of defenders giving Mavanovic a wee sniff and then blocking it out. The defensive structure from Kashmir Technical has been well marshaled today, and Miramar haven't been able to unpick the lock. Work in there from Corey Vickers. Donkers. He's playing with full of confidence at the moment. He's done well to keep the ball there. Lapsley. He's on futsal. Player. Stora, Andrew Stora, unable to connect. Oh, 
Coughlin. Throwing the ball forward, but the group doing well to patrol his entire area. Rogerson. A bit of forward play here from Miramar Rangers. And Vickers uncompromising there on Molovanovic. This provide, might provide the opportunity for Muramar to get back into this game. First line of defence is strong. And Vickers closed down. Gets the ball forward into the channel for Donkers. And sets off down the right hand side. Brushes off one. Tyndall provides assistance. Back they go for Tang, who puts a big switch on, but not enough on it. Richard's doing well. Coughlin. Has he still got it? Great ball through. Here's Tyndall. Cuts inside on his left. And combo save here from defender and keeper by the looks of it. As Tyndall chopped back on his left foot. And Liam Wood, it was all Liam Wood. Looked like the keeper had his right side covered, but it was the boot of Liam Wood who denied Tyndall and Kashmir Technical their fourth. Matheson put this corner in. Well, it wasn't the uh, usual standard we expect of Lyle Matheson that corner, but Coughlin's got the ball, and he tries to weave his way around, but hasn't come off. Restorer has his pocket picked. He was all set to thunder one in and grab his second for the day. Matheson back into Lapsley. In the calm position based football from Kashmir Technical. It's paying dividends for them. Quite willing to sit back and let Miramar have some position. And when they get an opportunity to go forward, they really have done well to find ways to create opportunities for themselves. Catch me technical. Searching ball forward. Coughlin putting pressure on Wood who's clearance has just ended up with a corner and Lowell Matheson's left foot will be employed again no doubt the urgency seems to have gone out of the game but Ballard young Alex Ballard has gone over to swing this one in with the right foot this time Into the mixer, just just past Corey Vickers. It's a promising play forward, but it's undone again by Richards. Nice team playing here from Kashmir Technical. But 
the long ball, last ball from Vickers wasn't one. Didn't keep up the position. Searching ball forward. Store is there to get a hit on it and will result in a corner for Miramar. Well, next week, of, uh, both these sides have got the challenge, doesn't get any easier. As we'll wait for this corner to come in from Miramar. There's an opportunity for Wilson to found a thong, but he couldn't get it on target. So next week, both these sides, Auckland City will be hosting Kashmir Technical. So the form side of New Zealand football is a hell of a challenge for this Cashmere technical side next week. Miramar Rangers will have their first home game when they host Birkenhead United. Both those games next Saturday. So, Vickers will move the ball forward, get out to Richards. Send it long. Giving Donkers some to chase. See draws defenders and able to keep it by going back to Matheson. Lapsley inside to Ballard. Ballard doing well there to keep the ball. All the way back to Vickers who's searching ball forward. And the two number eights there coming together. Alex Bellard and Captain Sam Dewa. Who will be contemplating how he can change this game. Just over a quarter of an hour left in it. And Miramar have a lot of work to do. There's Lyle Matheson. He's found Donkers with space to move. And there's an opportunity. Cool, calm, and collected finish from the young man, Kian Donkers. It's a great ball through from Lyle Matheson. Kian Donkers, one on one. The cover defense. Collapsed on him, but not fast enough. He had the option of using Garmin Coughlin to his right, but the young man is in a rich vein of form and was confident enough to take on Jack the Groot himself and come up trumps on that one to make it 4 0 to the home side. Well, they really are playing well today, Kashmir Technical. And there's a change here for Miramar Rangers. Looks like Jack the Groot has made his way to the bench for Neil Archery to come on. And I might have even seen Number 21, Ashlyn Stroud, come on as well. I'll just confirm that with you. But definitely a keeper change. New Archery, I'm studying to be a doctor at the moment. Scott Howells using this opportunity to give everyone a run. And yes, there's Ashlyn Stroud who's on. So the bench has been cleared by Scott Hales. Oh, 
Can they close shop on this one with just over 10 minutes to go in this game? And really, Miramar haven't had any answers today. Haven't been able to create a lot of offensive pressure at all. Really missing the strike force that is Hamish Watson. Here goes Garvin Coughlin with plenty of space to work in. Goes to Matheson. Weaves some magic inside the box. Well defended from Miramar Range this time. And Matheson just getting a talking to. We haven't, good to see the referee hasn't had to use any cards as yet. It really has been a, uh, a game of some, I haven't seen any spark in it for the referee to have to squash. It's just been some good, honest football from both sides. Mason Smith under pressure. Olovanovic. Oh, Sir Panathon doing well there. And rode a couple of challenges, but Miramar getting this one underway as quick as they can. The urgency's there. Try to get themselves back in the game. Or Manuel, Mason Smith, Diwa, sees the gap. Puts it out to Safanathong. Drives in the 18 yard line. Clips it in. Store is there to get rid of it. Helped on by Coughlin. Manuel. Out here to Cameron. The two substitutes out here on the left hand side of the Miramar. Switch a play from Miramar to try to find a way through this yellow defensive unit. And Danny Knight once again comfortable with that one. Using his full six seconds, just in no hurry at all. 4 0 up. Really has been comfortable here for the home side. Lapsley. Now to Vickers. Forward and two. Donkers. One on one. Dispossessed by the defence, but gets his foot in and stops the progress of Murma Rangers. Just they. Tr Try to get themselves back in this game, but I think it's a bit little too, not enough time here to really get themselves back with any chance of getting anything out of this game. A weaving run in here. But Tang able to get the position back for Kashmir. Technical. Oh. Wilson, Soprano Thong. Weaving around, trying to make something happen, but to no avail. Lapsley, just getting a good foot in. Gets it away, Akari there. Getting his first touch. Manuel, clip forward for Mason Smith. 
Gone soft behind the line, but it collapses on him pretty quickly. And looks like we're going to have a change. Kashmir Technical. Seems like Richards. Sam Richards is going to make his way to the sideline, as is Declan Tyndall. And it will be Chester Gaskin and Yusuf Van Dam, who will come on. Good opportunity for the, the benches to get involved in this game. It seems like it's pretty safe here for Kashmir Technical. Young Yusuf Van Dam, an under 20 player, with the Dutch heritage there. And Chester Gaskin, who played plenty of his football up from Nelson Suburbs in his first season down here in Christchurch for Cashmere Technical. Manuel goes in turn, Manuel Vanovac. Good disposition in there from Sam Lapsley. There's Coughlin on the ball. That slows things down. Good overlapping run here from Tung. Slowing it down. Controlling the tempo here. Kashmir Technical. Van Dam. Advance into the corner. With Coughlin. Coughlin getting the ball under the box. Straight across the area from was that Lapsley. Who it might have been Tung who advanced his run into the 18 yard box there. And must have got a Miramar touch on it. And a threatening ball there. Vic is doing well to find Gaskin. Story doing well to, di to disrupt that one, but Miramar have position. Mason Smith. Cut out by Van Dam. Looks forward. Tries to get the ball into Donkers. And two young substitutes working well together. Dewa. Tries to. Coughlin heads up, gets the ball forward, it's a good ball in. There's that man, Lyle Matheson, there bringing the best out of Neil Wakery. What a solid save there from the reserve goalkeeper. battle to find some attacking play continues here it really has uh, been frustrating for them just cannot find a way through the Kashmir technical defensive unit and here come Kashmir technical pouring forward Coughlin's got the ball 
through to Van Dam. Into the 18 yard line, 18 yard box, but the shot. No, no threat. And the 90th, as we enter the 90th minute, keep an eye on uh, any additional time that's required. Ivanovic trying to find his way through, can't do it. Coughlin just possessed there. And I'm sure we'll be seeing some additional minutes. Didn't quite catch how many there would be. Here's Mason Smith at the top of the area. Gets the ball back. Stora. In a cracking game there, Andrew Stora. Van Dam goes back to Tang. Lexi under pressure, drawing the foul. But solid defending in there from Andrew Stora. Scoring the opening goal of this fixture today and he's been solid as a rock at the back for Kashmir Technical Spencer came on the fifth row run back to Manuel and it goes to Stroud Switch the play. Joshua Rogerson, centre back, hasn't been a very solid game from him, but he'll be disappointed with the current scoreline. Might have one last chance to get to Constellation here as they have an attacking corner, Miramar Rangers. Scott Hales will have plenty of time to think about this one before next week's home fixture for Miramara as they host Birkenhead United. And I'm sure I'll address the issues I've had here today. Unable to Get any goals so far, and Dan Terrace and Dan Swartz who will have their work cut out as well as they try to unlock the their next challenge against perennial New Zealand football favourite Auckland City. Yeah, it's a real big challenge for them to uh, look forward to. There's an opportunity here for Tech to add to it. Lapsley's going back to Ballard. Coughlin. Just can't complete that pass as he do what uh, here comes Miramar what can they get themselves on the score sheet here Luke Tung's not interested in that and his clearance saves the day for Kashmir Technical it's a good run from Spencer Cameron who the ball was destined for he didn't get a chance. That's a Tian Manuel with a threatening cross, but it's dealt with very well by Andrew Stora.
Mason Smith on the ball. Can't find the room. Oh, a little bit better opportunities in there from Saul Milvanovic. Rattling the crossbar. That's as close as I've come today. From our Rangers. Well, that turn up pace in there from Garvin Coughlin. And a bit of a cynical old challenge in there. Well, that's all she wrote here today at English Park. Cashmere Technical 4, Miramar Rangers 0. All the work to do for Miramar Rangers. We weren't able to really get much on much, uh, threats on the Cashmere Technical goal at all today. And Cashmere Technical able to take chances at will at, at times. And for me, it was Lyle Matheson's game. He set up a couple of goals and some crosses. Finished one himself. And a polished performance from the Southern League runners-up. And what a game to start this 2022 National League. So the next...